This is our fifth video of process learnings for the Greater Manchester Local Pilot and today we're going to talk about transforming governance and processes as one of our enablers of active lives. Um, and up till September 2020 what we had identified was that whilst there was some good ideas and willingness to collaborate in place these were frequently stymied by governance processes that weren't just simply not designed to support place-based intersectoral collaboration or distribute resources around the system or to local people. So we were um, also highlighting though that there was um, some learning potentially um, to come from the global pandemic, uh, which had seen a really dramatic change in the way that um, people work together and uh, support was distributed across the system to really get to those communities in need. And what we have seen is probably not yet realised uh, new governance structures born out of the COVID pandemic. And I think partly that's because we're still responding to the global pandemic. But because there isn't the urgency associated with inactivity as there has been uh, to COVID-19, then some of the localities are still experiencing snarls up in bureaucracy. Now, that's not to say that there isn't some emergent good practice. And we've spoken before about co-commissioning um, and these projects are starting to come to fruition now where local authority have combined with other voluntary sector organisations, um, including social housing in place to put together funding opportunities for local communities to take part in, which doesn't just distribute funds, but also connects up different um, support mechanisms. And in the case in Manchester, also links to crowdsourcing uh, funding for sustainability. And we are seeing that the ways of working that the local pilot are promoting is actually attracting other um, interests and funding from across the system. So, for example, we know that the Active Ageing um, Hub have really paid attention to how the local pilot is being governed and held to account uh, and with a great emphasis on learning and, and adapting, which we're going to talk about in our last theory video. But this is something which they have adopted within that work stream as well, building a critical mass for new operating models potentially does have the ability to uh, engage more um, wider stakeholders and build a case for change. So this leads us really to encourage further uh, activity to identify commissioners and administrators in place who are willing to consider flexible arrangements to support working across organisational boundaries uh, and also potentially to work with other colleagues who are trying to take a place-based initiative to identify and develop together new operating models which can build a critical mass for this work. And that concludes our process learnings for the Transforming in Governance Processes uh, Enabler for Active Lives in Greater Manchester.